Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Assassin's Creed Waha Let's Play as we see Sigurd get into his injured position. Oh, there we go. Um, Basm seems to be the bad guy here, which it's shocking. Um, but before we go confronting him, we do have quite a bit of skill point and it definitely helps to level up our new skill trees. Um, I think I want the one where we don't get interrupted for basic attack, which I think is ignore hit interruption when performing your next offhand parry or special attack. Whereas this one is ignore hit interruption, ah, oh, the melee one. This is the one I want. And it's exactly six. Yeah, let's go check it out. There's always a twist in Assassin's Creed game, but this one is kind of big. Cause yeah, I thought he was from the Creed. You suffer a thousand times what I suffered. What, what is you, this about? What did you suffer? My son, Eivor. This is about my son. You speak nonsense, Bassam. Oh, we he shared went so high. much in England. Fought and bled together. Dig, Eivor, into the wellspring of your memory. He's up here. Show yourself. I do not wish to fight with you. He's gonna climb up? Nope. He's gonna throw his dagger. He didn't run, huh? I see you. He stunned me. He clouded the second layer too. What does battle serve? Let us speak. I have waited countless ages for this moment. No more talk. I hunger for this kill. Yeah, we're gonna hop down. There you are. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hop up again. <laughs> there he is. He has no health bar, so we have no idea. I'm having a hard time blocking onto him. He's up there. He's done. Show me your neck. Show me. <laughs> the kiss of a wolf takes my prize. Of course. <sighs> Rise. My son will not have suffered in vain. You spout nonsense like an alehouse drunk. Ooh. I 
on him. He doesn't lock onto him. If you are assigned to this, it. so be it. You will not die in peace. You will never see your home or your people Poison again. Give me a health bar and I'll finish you. This what you wanted. I want you to suffer. Make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! Hmm? He jumped? Be on your guard, Sigurd! Our rations. It was more of a survival battle. Sigurd, be careful. He's coming for you. You die here! This brings me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. I am your prize, Bessem. Come. You are indeed. He's like Loki. We're die. Odin and Not uh, Not by your hand. and uh, our brother is Tyr. Where's that? Ooh. Bassem in planning this treachery. I dare not guess. Gods! That's Velka's mom, Am isn't I that? Am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say, and say it. I... 
I need some time to breathe. Let me sit a moment. I mean, we got stabbed in the gut. It's not looking good for us. That man's anger, his rage, it had a familiar sting that I, I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd, without sense or reason, paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever. You always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It's a long journey and I am not well. Home. Eivor. On our journey here, I had much time to think. On the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? Randvi told me of your bravery, your courage, your wisdom. In my absence, you were a pillar of stone. She admires you. And I her. But that cannot be the only reason. When Dar called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor, in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. I recall our days in Oxenefortshire, our search for the Saka Stone. You disagreed with my orders, but you followed them. You questioned my methods, my aims, but you did not disobey. In all my days away, in my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England. Of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. <laughs> a tale for the ages. I'm glad we made up. I'm going to consider this the good ending. Bex, I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. 
But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat. Radiation. Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Bex. Alright, so for everyone who's confused, um, remember Assassin's Creed is in the Animus world, so we are in the real world right now. We're in Massachusetts, uh, where we discovered Eivor's body in the excavation, and this is our main character for the past three Assassin's Creed games. And we are going to go to that temple in Norway where it's linked to Desmond's story, which is from older Assassin's Creed games. And we're going to slow down the temple for a little bit. Um, as for the betrayal, now that I think about it, Basim is definitely Loki, right? He's talking about his son and Loki's talking about his son, the wolf Finnur. And um, it's interesting how oh, it links together. I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawaho and Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solas Vras Hunakudi de Unzum Huraz, Vez Dere has Zohumsi. Okay, so this is not the temple in I'm Norway, in. this is the temple in Massachusetts, the Iroquois. I hear you. The elevator still works. Ah, uh, 75,000 years. What's another millennium or Wait, two? Wait, this is still... Hmm. This feels like the one in Norway, then. I'm confused. It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust churning lava beneath huge source of energy that's tech humans should have energy not pieces of eden well but all this is over we can get a startup going you know get a little work paid by a van just the three of us shit you're breaking up sean but again please you're breaking up forget it i'll call you when i'm topside why don't you try calling us with your top side something like that here we go now is basm still going to be attached to that Receptor there. All right, environmental puzzle there time. There you are. You're working overtime. Oh, 
bridge collapsed? Must have collapsed when the ice melted. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Steady. <laughs> A pool of water from all that melted ice. Climb up here. What about here? Nope, not allowed to swim over there. Ah, go under. down. Don't look down. Maybe we go up farther. Hmm. Doesn't look right. the other side. Oh, that's our destination. Okay. Finger strength. We made it. Why would anyone want to end their life here unless they felt it was just beginning? It's just like the animus. It's just like the animus. is Eivor's Valhalla, or, or a simulation of it. So what am I looking for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. You don't say. That's blocked. What is this? Now it's different outside. Oh, the Weavers of Fates. 
Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? So here we went, in fealty to our master. Who's your master? Is he here? <laughs> they flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lasses that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. God damn it. Odor, Verdandi, Skald, be at ease. Your day of rest has come. At peace. At last, we rest. Is that it? Is it done? Basim! Where are you? What is that? The Tree of Life? Stop. Wipe everything. Run it again. Layla. Hello. You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, Another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node... 
This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! All right. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave, so be it. I owe this to the people I... I hurt. And the people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. I mean, Layla's story is probably coming to an end after this is technically the trilogy parts from Origins all the way to Odyssey. The staff fell on the ground. Uh, Adam comes back to life by holding on to it. Sean, Bex, I, I had a choice, and I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that, but I'm not afraid, and I'm not alone. We have work to do, work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say, but we'll finish it. What I mean is, don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world we still have. And take care of... You see, she's fine. 
in a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus, we have to find her. You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you, you left her there. This... this is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear, we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. Guess we're putting the bad guys now. And I guess we go back into the Animus with him. Is it wishful thinking to believe this device has a thought interface? Do I really have to use my hands and voice? Mmm, magical. These are like the messages we cracked from before. These are the fragments we got from doing all the glitches. No, no, come on, Sean. Turn that thing off. I'll help. Obviously, we're both looking forward to going back. Oh, 
height, love. A new world has opened to us. Once I get my bearings, there is nothing we cannot achieve. We're talking to the staff. Well done, young man. You are onto something. Edward Kenway. King Alfred. The bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in. A few days at most. So here we go. Steady, Avon. Good. Tovi. Welcome home. We missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment... and rest. Sigurd! For me. Gift of the gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I am... 
Um. Eivor's returned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. Eivor? Rangvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl's Kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steep my words gain wings. Odin's mead I form will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. We beat and blaze our trail of red. Till Odin gazes upon the dead. The voice sound the mighty hall. Those who fight for those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty hall. For we who fight, for we who fall. Alrighty, and we have completed our arc, and now a new arc awaits us, the final arc in Hampton Shire. And we're going to pick things up from here. Um, you might feel like it's weird that, you know, well, we can place a jack o -lander. Anyways, you might feel that it's weird that now uh, Basm is in the Animus, but Animus is not changing history, it's experiencing history. If anything, he's just spying into... A time period in Eivor's life. We're still playing as Eivor, and it's Eivor's decision in the past has already happened, and uh, he's going to learn skills off of her by looking at her and all that. I don't know. I mean, the direction here is saying that future Assassin's Creed franchise storylines will be pushed forward by Basm, and maybe the return of the Assassins being more of an aggressive order. Um, that's kind of the feel that I'm getting from him, but We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll play out this last bit. Uh, we'll talk to Ranvi and we'll stab the map. We'll set up to go to our last Shire. We might do a bit of cleanup of the other Shires before we do that, uh, but that's where things stand. And with the new DLC in the horizon, we'll also be going to Ireland uh, sometime next week. I think it comes out on Thursday, May 13th, and we'll be uh, jumping into that one as soon as we're done with the storylines here in England. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and see you guys next time. Bye.